Hello glitter babes and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic and beautiful day. As you can tell, we're going to be trying a little something different. I have no makeup on, like nothing. No moisturizer, serum, makeup of any kind. My face feels so bare and so dry. It just, it's almost uncomfortable. Um, we are about to do an unboxing from Unique, which is a makeup skincare line. Um, I ordered a giant bundle. Basically, I kept seeing these ads and videos on Instagram and Facebook about how amazing their products were, how they were ridiculously great quality, reasonable prices, and I knew that I just had to try it. Um, so I bought a bundle from this gorgeous lady. Um, I actually found her, she was in one of my Facebook groups for a boutique, and so I had kept seeing like her little videos pop up on Facebook, and I reached out to her, and within basically a day, she helped me with everything I needed, she color matched on my skin tone to make sure it matched all the makeup products and she had everything ordered and ready to go like within a day like it wasn't even a day it was like a morning so she was unbelievably helpful her name is rachel sleeter hackett um this is actually her business card how gorgeous is that she is so pretty I will be putting all her information in the description box. Um, if you guys like any of the products that we're about to try on, please reach out to her. She is not making me say this at all, I swear. She was just so unbelievably friendly and she just made the whole entire process so easy. Um, not only that, but she sent me a little love note. It says, Clarissa, thank you so much for your order. It means so much to my family and I. Enjoy XOXO Rachel. So, ugh, oh, I cannot wait. So I actually got a bundle and it was $99. And it came with like 15, 16 full size products with some samples and a gorgeous brand new honkin' beautiful purple metallic purse. I mean, look inside. All the beauty products were are were inside it. Like I just kept pulling stuff out. Um, so we are gonna actually go through all the products that I bought. Um, it looks like just really quickly we got their spray foundation, which was the reason why I ordered from them in the first place. We got a couple of skincare products. It looks like a beauty oil, a brightening mask. A cleansing stick we got a skin perfecting concealer liquid eyeshadow eyeliner I bought this from her it was a kabuki brush but look how luxurious that just looks it's so soft and oh I know I'm gonna like it we also got translucing setting powder hydrating face primer thank you my face feels like it's about to crack off. Um, lash serum. Looks like the Mood Struck Addiction Palette. Not quite sure if that's eyeshadow or like, like bronzer blush, so we'll find out. We got Epic Mascara. Epic 4D Mascara, or yeah. This was another item I wanted to try. Like, I'm sure you guys have seen it, like those little ads where it's like your normal eyelash and then your other one is like bam like so crazy like you're wearing falsies i cannot wear falsies i try and try and try and i hurt myself so if this does that look for me i would be so ecstatic and then the last three items a lip plumper a liquid lipstick and a little eyeshadow brush so all of that $99. Ridiculous. I mean, top quality products for a ridiculously affordable price. So let's go ahead and try everything on. Um, I took off all the filters on my phone because I wanted you guys to really see me. 
um, you know, see my pores and my dark circles and blemishes and I have these dark spots like really bad. Um, basically everything that I try to hide every day, you guys can see. So let's try this stuff. Okay, so let's start with the face primer. Um, or maybe should we do the beauty oil? Let's wait for the skincare products until after. We might just swatch them and try them. Let's go ahead and jump into the makeup. Um, so this is the Unique Touch Glorious Hydrating Face Primer. Doesn't have the price. I'll try to find out what the individual prices are because I think it was like the entire bundle was $99 and I think it came out to like a value of almost like $400 and I could be way wrong but it was something crazy and ridiculous like that. So here is the primer. Very sleek packaging. Oh, I'm like twisting and it just comes off. Okay. I don't know why I'm shaking it. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, I probably put way more than I needed. Oh, yeah. It's like a... Oh, God, it's good. I've definitely put on way more than I needed. The primer is like... It felt like cool water, but as you put it on, it just hydrates almost like a face oil. But you have that tackiness almost... Not like a lot, but enough so your makeup like sticks. I mean, just with the primer that like completely refreshed my face. Holy crap, I like that. Okay, so that's the primer. Let it stick a little bit. We are going to try. Let's try the. It sounds like spray paint. Okay, so this is the Unique Touch Spray Foundation. She did have other foundations, so if you're not into the whole spray can foundation, they have other options. I mostly just wanted to try it. Here it is. So pretty. Has a little spray in here and like it looks like directions. It says shake vigorously for optimal results, spray onto a brush. Make circular motions, then jab, gently dab into areas that require more coverage. Repeat until desired coverage is achieved. Or you can actually spray it onto your face. Let's actually spray it on our very pretty Kabuki brush. Wow, that... I like that primer. It almost felt like a face serum where it's so light, but you can still feel that your face is very hydrated. Okay, so the color she swatched me was actually called Eyelet. Um, I'm just so bad at with those colors. Okay, so we're gonna. Oh, I don't know how much I'm supposed to spray it. Holy crap! Okay, so. Oh my god, guys! So circular motion. My personal foundation. Holy crap. That already felt like it. I mean, I still have the blemishes, but that's for not putting that much on. I wouldn't spray it super far out. I feel like maybe you should do closer. I'm going to dab. Okay, guys. So this... I mean, you can hardly see the color on the brush. This has to be the most coolest invention. I mean, I had sprayed twice on the Kabuki brush and it looks so good. Like I didn't really move it down my neck. But it feels so light. It, it feels like all I'm still wearing is just the primer. Like, let's see here. Like, I feel like it really covered up underneath my eyes. 
it looks still very natural. I think she did a really great job in choosing what color matched me. I have like this weird orangey tone and I just, no matter what I do, I always have an orangey tone. So it's just what I have, but it worked so good. I like that it doesn't feel like you're, you've got a huge glob on your face, which is fantastic. I mean, I really, really like it. It looks so good. Okay, definitely the primer and the spray foundation, a must. I mean, it definitely smoothed out my face. It's very natural. Um, I'm, sh I'm, I'm guessing, but if you uh, kept applying, you'd get more of like, if you wanted a more natural glow, you would probably just do one or two sprays for your whole face. But if you were wanting like that really deep coverage, then you could keep building up. Um, so I like that it can be used for everybody for no matter what preference they want, instead of buying like a dewy light coverage foundation and then a deep coverage foundation. So I really liked that you can use the one item for both things. So we're gonna go ahead and try a little bit, that's the liquid eyeshadow, um, the concealer. This is Skin Perfecting Concealer and Velour. She also color matched this to me. Um, so I only use concealer like when it might like, I really am not sleeping well. Um, Oh, that's really cute. It's really little, but you probably don't need very much. There's the spout. Uh, I brought some extra brushes just in case we needed them. Good thing. So I'm gonna put just a little bit very cute color I just always do it under my eye always do it there there I don't like this brush really okay so you don't need a lot if you can see my face <laughs> obviously I don't really like this brush for that but you do not need a lot it really brightened it up I'm gonna go back through with the kabuki brush just so Okay, so, so far really good. Just like the foundation, um, doesn't feel like I'm hardly wearing, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything on my face, which is really making me trip out a little bit. But it instantly brightened everything. Um, a little bit goes a very long way, so I really like that. So next we're gonna go ahead and try to set it just a little bit. Here's a little setting powder. It looks like it is translucent. I prefer translucent powder. Okay, look at that. Inside, it perfectly fits where the makeup comes out. I love that, that it sticks out because I have several like powders that don't do that and if you accidentally tip it over just all of it pours out and then it just gets everywhere i'm having difficulty Ooh. so not only but it also has like that meshy um material there so that you're able to get what you need i'm gonna go ahead and grab another brush that belongs to me just get a little bit i don't ooh, i don't need this much but Okay, so I actually set my entire face, um, mostly because I get really oily skin. So I feel like when I set my entire face with powder, it helps not do that so much. Um, I really like it. 
a little bit goes a long way. I really like that that really keeps all the stuff in there. I mean, no filters, guys. I mean, my skin is looking smoother. Um, so light of coverage. I am okay. I'm really liking this so far. So good. Okay, what should we do next? Um, we don't really need the lash serum. We can swatch that. Liquid shadow. What's liquid shadow? Oh, liquid eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, I'm stupid. Okay. Let's open up this palette to find out what it is. It looks like it's Moon, Moodstruck Addiction 2 Shadow Palette. Very gorgeous, very sleek, just like all their other stuff. It looks like it's going to be those magnetized kind of boxes. Ooh, those are very pretty colors. They look like they're more of the um, blues and darker moody colors I guess I mean if that makes sense um let's open up the little eyeshadow brush that they gave us I'm not gonna go all out just because I don't want to put you guys do that but let's try uh so I'm gonna go in with honorable which is a matte color there's a little bit of fallout Next, I'm gonna go in with, let's go in with a little bit of cocky. Just to, I didn't, just darken that crease like a little bit. I'm gonna put some of this romantic right underneath Ooh. and then I'm gonna go in with some blissful wow And then I'm just going to buff everything out with a little bit of Hopeless. Okay, guys. So, nothing super glamorous, but just to try it out, holy moly, that blissful right there, that's what's right here. It just pops. I love like shimmery eyeshadows and you didn't need a whole lot of it to really make a big impact. I really liked the, the darker moody colors. Um, very different from what I normally do. Everything felt, there was a little bit of fallout, but I feel like even with the fallout, what went on your lid was very easily blendable and It just it's beautiful just light I mean just so light it doesn't feel like I'm wearing tons of makeup like oh my gosh so good so I like that that is definitely really good now this was the liquid shadow willed is this for I don't know if this is for eyeshadow or it could be blush. Ombre. Okay, so it is eyeshadow. So let's go ahead and swatch it. It looks like it's called Willed. Ooh, I really like the eyeshadow brush applicator. It's kind of at a slant. So a little bit goes a long way. 
Holy moly, I actually like that color for like a lipstick. Um, that is such a pretty fall color. Um, that is gorgeous. Let's give it a little bit, see if it dries and if it's transfer proof. Um, next, so we didn't come with blush, but that's okay. Um, looks like we have the eyeliner pencil and we got, doesn't say what color. It's in the color perfect, I'm assuming. So it is black. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of eyeliner on just to try it. So just like an eyeliner pencil, it comes out really, really good, um, really easily. I like it. it. Definitely helps with the eyeshadow to definitely pop a little bit more. Um, let's put on some lipstick because I feel like my face is kind of drowning out a little bit and I need some color. So the first thing here, we have a lip plumper. So let's do that last. We have a liquid splash lipstick and the color Soft Hearted. Ooh, I like this packaging for it. It looks like we did get like a pinky color. How do you? Okay, so it is like, okay, so yeah, it's a little bit, duh. Okay, so, ooh, that's pretty and fun. It goes with my headband, so. Ooh, I don't know if it goes with the eyeshadow, but we'll keep, we'll do it. Okay, very pink, but I'm digging it. Like, it's not like any other color that I have in my makeup box. It went on very smooth. It is a matte finish, very velvety. Um, I mean, just even just like this. Like, it actually kind of goes. I'm, I'm actually really liking it. It's really fun and flirty. I like it. I do. Um, normally I go for a more gloss look, but I really like the color. It definitely gets me out of my comfort zone. Um, and it's really kind of going with what we're trying to do here. So definitely A++. So the lip plumper, it's called Haughty Lip Plumper. It looks like, it doesn't really have a name color but just like other lip plumpers, it's kind of that clear. I want to put it on, but I don't, let's put a little. Oh, that kind of made a difference to the color there, guys. Okay, so not meant to mix with the lipstick. Oh, and I lifted it. Oh, and it's like in my tongue tingle. Let's see. Okay. We're gonna... So, the lip plumper definitely kind of meant to be by itself. I feel like when I put it on top of the lipstick, it's starting to break apart. So let's go ahead and put this back on, um, just because I, I like it. better okay I'm feeling like Barbie girl over here I'm actually really really liking it um I do wish that it came with a lip pencil because I feel like when you're wearing a color like this to kind of just 
give it some lines and definition, a lip liner pencil will work really well. Um, what's left? So we have two types of mascara that came in the bundle. Um, one is the Mood Struck Epic Mascara. I will go ahead and open it. So difficult. Wow. Okay. I like this, like, it's like bottom heavy, <laughs> but I like it so you can almost like stand it up, but let's look at the wand. So it does have like, ooh, and look at our, oh, that is so pretty. So the eyeshadow liquid that we did, it did dry to more of a like a plummy color, which is so gorgeous. Um, and completely transfer proof. So here is the mascara wand for the regular Epic Mascara. But I really want to try this one. Um, hold on, guys. I'm back. I had to get my eyelash curler because I don't know if you guys can tell, but my eyelashes are straight and so hard to curl. So I'm going to do a little curl here just to kind of help the mascara a little bit. Okay, so I love curling my eyelashes. I feel like it makes a difference. Okay, so this is the 4D Unique Mascara. It is purple, that metallic color like the purse. It is so beautiful. Ooh, look at that monster wand there. So, ooh, fingers crossed. This one to this one, you can really tell. So it went on really good. Um, it didn't get clumpy at all. I really liked how brushy or bushy the brush was. I felt like it worked really well for like under your eye. I feel like if I kept building, it would be big. Um, it did, while I was putting it on, I realized it came with the primer, which probably would have really, really helped to just build it out which is this one. This one has a little bit of a dip to it. So I felt like if I would have put that one on first and then built it out, it could have been bigger. Uh, so overall makeup, we did all the makeup products. Did we do all the makeup products? Yes, we did all the makeup products. I like, like, I really like it. I think it's very comfortable. Um, like I said, I think the only thing that feels like I'm wearing anything is probably my lips. And that's just because I had the plumper on it. So it's kind of tingling. But everything else is just so light and fresh and refreshing. Um, I really liked the spray. I thought that is just so completely innovative and new and that the amazing coverage it does. I mean, a lot of it could be the brush, but I think it's really pretty much the spray. 
um everything i really liked the lipstick if there was something i probably didn't like as much the lipstick the color is a little bit different for me um with this eyeshadow i probably would have worn more of a darker lipstick but it's different and it's getting me to try new things so i really really like it and it actually goes really well with my complexion so maybe i should be wearing more pinks um, let's go ahead and open up these skincare products real quick. So this was a brightening mask that we also got in our bundle. And I'm just going to rip it. Ooh, okay. So it's very yellow. It, well, I feel like all brightening masks tend to be yellow. It's, um, a brightening mask. It says apply thin, even layered, clean, dry face, let it dry for 15 minutes, then gently, ooh, peel it off. I really like peel off masks. Um, next, we have the cleansing stick. It says you apply this to your eye area, lips or face, and massage it into the skin, and then you just wipe it clean. So that is the cleansing stick. Oh, look at that. It's... Wait, does it have a lid? Oh, it has another lid. There's no scent to it. It's very... It almost has a consistency of like olive oil, but not as greasy, if that makes sense. That is so nifty. And then the last thing we got was the Uplift Beauty Oil, which... If you watch my videos, you would know that I am a sucker for anything that has to do with face skincare or serums. I wear my scissors. It says on this one, place three to four drops on tips of fingers and apply gently to face and neck. Okay, so it is pretty much like a serum. Oh, how pretty. Look at that. I really like their packaging. Every They pretty much stick to their purple or black in the same kind of aesthetically pleasing vibe. Um, ooh. So let's do one drop. So it is... A it is a face oil so just like a face oil serum it's very light not sticky at all feels very hydrating and it feels like that one drop pretty much did my entire back of my hand so I would really like to try that on my face um, final thoughts <sighs> I really liked everything it was so much fun oh the lash serum just so that you guys can take a look at it so the lash serum which is probably something i should be using uh before bed you brush you place brush on lid off clean wait before bed place brush on lid side of clean lashes and gently sweep the middle of lashes to tip um and then allow it to dry so it looks a lot like their mascara. Oh, and then it's a cute little wand. I like that. That's adorable. So I can't wait to try that. Okay, so final thoughts, because I know this has been a crazy long video, and I'm sorry, but we had so many goodies, and I'm so happy we did it. I really liked everything. I feel like the foundation, she, Rachel, where is her face? Rachel did an unbelievably amazing job as far as matching my skin tone. I mean, you can tell just even from my neck that it matches. Um, I'm pretty sure the color, like the lipsticks, it was just part of a bundle. So everybody probably either got random or all the same. It is a little bit different. It's more of a summery vibe, but I absolutely think it's beautiful. Just do not wear it with the lip plumper. I probably would not put the lip plumper on anything. It's probably meant for just your bare lips. Um, really like the eyeshadow, the eyes. I mean, it. my face feels light and brightened and just 
beautiful. So let me know what you guys think. Was there a favorite product? Are you guys gonna order something? If you are, what's it gonna be? Is it gonna be this? Cause this is so freaking awesome. Um, anyway, I hope everyone had a fantastic time watching this video. Thank you so much for joining me and I will look forward to seeing you guys next time. All right, bye guys.